A white male with a red shirt. Go into detail. Supposedly just burglarized, uh, I believe a house. White male, red shirt, blue jeans, still trying to get more. Got somebody running with a flashlight, Slaughter Avenue and Pine Tree. He's pointing down Slaughter Avenue. I think maybe the complaint. Units of complaints got him detained. Slaughter Avenue at Pine Tree. He, he, he ain't going nowhere. He just took a hole. Right. Put, put the cuffs on him. Right. He just he busted him? all the windows at that house. What's up? And he wants to know why he did it. You know which house, man? Yeah, right up here. <laughs> 30 seconds like of white male detained. Who called me? We did. Y'all called? What happened? I saw all the windows at the house up here. You know him or no? No, we chased him down right here. The flower pots are still in the windows and everything. So it's not y'all's house? No. Y'all just witnessed it? Yeah. Okay. Y'all know this guy or no? No. Okay, what's going on, man? I want my attorney. You want your attorney? That's fine. That'll work. Appreciate it. I've never seen him. All we heard is smash. We thought somebody had dropped the pot or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we turned and was like, okay. He picks up the fire pot and throws it through another window. Smash. Oh, wow. And then he starts running this way, and me and Andrew followed him, and then he started trying to run. Nice. We got him right here and waited for him. Well, when Andrew, Good job. he started swinging at him at first. That's when he's like, you need to back up. And then Andrew's like, uh-uh. How far down is it on Pine Street? It's not it's, far. It's right on the It's literally floor. right around the Okay. Street. The neighbors are sitting next to a house. They hear some smashing. They look over, and this guy's throwing flower pots through their neighbor's house, who's not home. They think they're trying to break in, so they confront him. He takes off running, and uh, they detain him till we get there. This is the house right here with the flower pots right in the front window. The neighbor said he heard the first smash, and it looks like this is the first flower pot. And he saw him hit that and bust the front window. And then he, uh, he threw the second flower pot, and this one just happened to fall perfect. It doesn't look like the flower pot's damaged, but the window is. Hey. He lives here now? Yeah, he lives here. This is your house, my man? Hey, some dude smashed your windows out. Oh, what? Long hair. Jerome, do you know what Jerome? OK, just wait right here. Don't go in yet, OK? How you doing today? This is your house? Who you live here with? Who you live here with, man? Don't touch, son. I live with my mom. Where's your mom at? She's not here at the moment. I mean, can you call her she and tell her that you got a, she have a phone. flower pot through the front windshield? <laughs> that we're attempting to get hold of the mother, but she doesn't have a cell phone, so we have no clue to where to find her. And uh, the guy who they caught doing it doesn't want to talk to us. He wanted his attorney, so we can't get no information out of him. Is he older? Probably like in his 40s. Is he kind of doing drunk? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. He was, my mom was um, hanging out with him earlier today, and pretty much, she didn't want him to be around because he was drunk. He's just, like some drunk, depressed dude. Was this the guy? Yes, that's the dude right there. Definitely? Yeah, that's him, definitely. Okay. He'll be going to jail for at least criminal damage, if not attempted burglary, depending on uh, what they find out from the mom. All right, well, he's going to jail, so. Okay. Whenever your mom can get home, you don't get a hold of her. Tell her to call us so we can talk with her also. We checked the back, nothing else looks like it. I think after they confronted him after this second smash, he, he gave up and walked off. But uh, the son said these are definitely their flower pots.